I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. see? I could see Melee living another 10 to 15 years, sort of the way it is. And this game's already been updated, it's just been the same little small red disc that we play all the time. Obviously, we figured out ways to make it just insanely more accessible. Like, Melee was never an online game, so the community made their own online version of it, and we play that in our practice. But um, there's still a crazy massive amount of viewership for it, so I think Melee is going to be exactly where it is. And I think new Smash titles like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate you know, it's going to continue to carry on and every, about every five years Nintendo's going to release a new Smash game. I can see the NBA 2K League really, really taking off. We only have 21 of the 30 franchises on board right now. So once all 30 are in and there's international games taking place, there's a huge audience in China and there's a lot of players out there. I mean, that's still 70%. That's really good. Yeah, um, for only being two years in and we got 21 of the 30 teams, that, that just shows you that in five to ten years, it's gonna blow up with the NBA brand backing it and then eSports blowing up as well. And basketball's so easy to follow. Yeah. Some eSports, it's like, it's hard to follow. Like I'll tune in to certain eSports games and I'll be like, what is going on? Yeah, when I watch like, I, I'm, I'm a scrub obviously, <laughs> but when I watch like League or Dota, I'm just like, what? <laughs> What is, and then everyone's like, ah. I'm like, and that's, yeah. <laughs> I watch the finals live, and I, I was following a little more when you watch it live, like in person in a stadium, but like, yeah, accessibility is a big thing too, and that's one of the cool things that your eSport has, a mesh of familiarity between the old heads, the guys drinking beer at the bar, and these 11 year olds coming out of nowhere. <laughs> the woodwork to beat everyone and try to be good. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah a, it's a cool meeting of the waters. So like, if you think Melee eventually dies down, do you, do you see yourself, you know, having that grind on you to get back to number one spot. If Melee dies down and there's no one watching it or playing anymore, I'm probably gonna get married and have a dog. When the day comes where I've stopped playing, I sort of understand now why people retire from sports or esports. Because like, I dedicated like, you know how athletes dedicate like, their body to a sport mm -hmm. from like the age of whatever, as they are 15 to like, like 35, 40, 25 years of just having your body take pound after pound and just like hit after hit and what, what guys what sport you do. In esports, it's like your brain takes those hits for 25 years. And I- and your hands. And my hands are great. Uh, no, <laughs> some people in the community actually have need hand surgery. Uh, but the way I play, the character I play, is good for my hands. Okay. It's a nice <laughs> very. It's, I play a different style. I, I get, at the end of the day, everyone wants to win, but you know, gaming will always be there. I think your, your health is only there for so long.